Okay, duly noted. Now, when I think of 3D printers, I think of making small plastic things that are all one colour. Yeah. What I definitely don't think about is making houses. But in the final of this year's Dell Changemaker series, we meet a man whose invention may startle you. For ages, we've built homes the old-fashioned way, putting them together with our bare hands. Today, Hamilton-based Wafei Swalem is taking New Zealand house building into the future. He's printing them. We're achieving a faster build with less resources and we're having less waste overall because the robot tends to do a lot less mistakes than humans. He's the man behind Corox, New Zealand's first company specialising in commercial 3D printing concrete. A traditional house will take around nine months to build. Uh, we be able to print the house in 10 days. A construction industry professional for more than 20 years, Wafei has worked on epic projects in Egypt, Dubai, China and New Zealand. And he saw the same problems everywhere. We're very low on efficiency and we're very short on tradesmen and we're also always having a bad impact on the environment around us. He scoured the globe to find a solution and discovered it here. It's like light bulb moment was when I went to the Netherlands and watched the guys from Sibi print a wall that's three meters high by two meters in 45 minutes and I was just, my jaw just literally dropped to the ground and say, okay, this is the future of the construction industry. And I looked at it and said, I need to order my robot now. And while compliance testing for New Zealand, Wafei got another surprise. We did not expect it to be almost 10 times stronger. 3D printing concrete is relatively new, but combines two existing technologies from different industries. Rapid set concrete from construction and robotics from car making. This magic combo gives scope to a raft of applications. In Europe they're building bridges with it. You can do landscape furniture with it, you can do commercial buildings with it, you can do swimming pools, it could be anything. We're limited by our imagination. When Wafei set up shop in New Zealand, it didn't take long for the councils to see the potential. Hamilton Council was our first customer. They ordered a couple of benches and then we did a public demonstration for Auckland Council and Auckland Council now are our biggest landscaping customer. Now, for the first time, he's breaking into the house building market. He's printing the first house in Paremoremo, Auckland. This will be the first consented house in the Southern Hemisphere. And he's just getting started. Next up, a house on Waiheke. And Kiwi architects couldn't be more excited. It's fast, it's pretty cost effective, and you can get the geometric proportions and shapes and forms and things that you'd have to spend a lot of money to get if you do it in traditional concrete construction. With only a month needed to train an operator, labour shortage could be a thing of the past. Right now, you, you need two people to control the robot, but in the future, you only need to have one. So fewer cracks like this on site, and a chance to crack the current supply stranglehold. It gives another option out there against some of the bigger players um, that hold a pretty good monopoly on the material market in New Zealand. Hopefully we can try and stem the rising cost to build. When I see the future, I see the robots are actually helping humans, like working next to builders. The same way like you see diggers or cranes. You know, it's brave, it's brave. He's doing it for his livelihood and stuff, but he's also giving us all in New Zealand another way and another alternative in which we can build houses. Really beautiful, eh? Yeah, I'm so on board with this. Robot